Hi. This is a Life in the Mary Lane vlog. Um, I wanted to do a post on my experiences with the Day to Disconnect event that happened uh, last Sunday, Som Gedalia, October 2nd. I pledged to be offline for 24 hours. I have to admit that when I made the pledge, I was super excited about the idea. The concept was great. It, you know, the idea of just connecting with your loved ones and not being distracted by the internet, which I personally find challenging sometimes. So I love the idea. And it wasn't until about the second day of Yantav that I realized that some Gudalia was coming right after three days of Yantav and a very intense period of connecting constantly with my family. <laughs> so by the time uh, the day to disconnect came around, I was kind of thinking, huh, I've been doing a lot of connecting and I kind of feel like maybe connecting a little bit more with myself at this point. It was a very intense Yantav, not a lot of downtime. And so I was uh, wondering what I was going to do on this day to disconnect when my my toddler wasn't in school, his office schedule because of Yantuf, and it was a little bit of a challenging day. But Baruch Hashem, in the morning, I was able to do a little bit of work on a music project that I had been meaning to do. I don't know if many of you realize, but I'm actually a musician, more than a blogger even, and uh, my boys very graciously let me write a little song in the morning. So um, here's a little view of my uh, creative studio. This is my piano. It's actually the piano I learned on when I was a little girl, when I was seven. I started to learn. This is David Eliezer down here, who's Hi. letting me get my stuff done. Thanks, David Eliezer. That's just a chair. I don't know why it's there. Okay, so now I'm going to play for you the song.
So that's what I did. I made it to disconnect. I wrote a song. I spent a lot of time with my boys. But uh, coming off of three-day Yantav, that was something I was already doing. So I felt like I wanted to do something that I wasn't able to do on Yantav, which was sit at the piano and write a song. And I wanted to, th I want to thank David Aliazer, who also likes to play the piano, and very graciously let me play the piano unaccompanied, because he also likes to compose songs. Right, David Aliazer? <laughs> okay, hope you have a great week. Gamar Matova. Have a good and meaningful fast on Yom Kippur. And uh, see you after Spukkis. <laughs>